that send me stationery to make me horny. So I always write your letters. Hey, this is Leah Collins for Dose.ca. I'm here with Neil Campesino of the Lost Campesinos. Now, this isn't your first time in Toronto, is it? No, it's perhaps our third, yeah, in the last year or so. Um, we just we just can't get enough of it. We keep coming back. <laughs> no, we were here the first time um, last summer to play some shows. We recorded just outside Toronto with Dave Newfeld. Came back here, mixed it just after that, and then we're back here in December, and uh, now Fast forward and we're here now, so it's it's nice to be back. You mentioned you recorded a lot of the record Hold On Now Youngster here in Toronto, or at least a little bit outside of it. Yes. Um, you guys are from Wales, right? Uh, we live in Wales, we're not actually Welsh. We all just moved uh, to Cardiff just for university, um, and we still live there. To be based in the UK and to come all the way to Canada, I mean, why decide to come here to record the record? Um, because we got the opportunity to, and it just sort of made sense to come over get a bit of uh, summer weather, a bit of a holiday, and then do some recording. Can you give me a sense of what a typical day for the Los Campesinos would have been like for those four weeks you were recording in Toronto? Well, we were recording in a town outside Toronto, so there was nothing to do there. Oh. Um, it was, which was good, because it meant we weren't distracted by the record stores, the clothes stores, um, the food, and just, yeah, going to shows and stuff. Fern Holt, like, just end up spending money we shouldn't have really been spending it. I wanted you to tell me the story of how you guys started the band sort of briefly. Um, well initially just started as not, like not even as a band just as uh, me Ellen and Ollie just jamming on Wednesday afternoons like because Ellen plays bass, Ollie plays drums just I play guitar just purely out of something to do and we didn't really have any direction or no goals or anything and I, Tom was on the same course as me I met Tom invited him to play along and he has many more guitar players uh, experience on me so he came along and it was, that was immediately like noticed like wow he's good I'm rubbish. We kind of never set out to have a particular sound but we didn't want to sound like the uh, typical uh, post libertines lad rock four piece British rubbish which just dominates kind of British music which we all kind of hate and then um, I lived with Gareth since first year so I asked Gareth to sing I knew Harriet, so I asked her to play violin, and Ellen knew Alex, so she asked her to come along. And then by March, uh, we were finished, we were completed as a seven piece. I mean, you mentioned you didn't want to sound like a lot of the bands that were coming out of the UK a couple of years ago. I guess, what did you want to sound like then? Just not that. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> yeah, uh, just kind of poppy, upbeat, um, something fun really, yeah. with no real pretense, like, oh, I'm really cool from London, nothing like that. You'll have to forgive me for the sort of regional angle, but I mean, especially again, looking at like the influences that you're listing, there are a lot of Canadian bands, we have Broken Social Scene, there's Islands, Destroyer, that were listed. I was just wondering, like maybe, like how did you think the music coming out of Canada compared? Was there any sort of connection in, in that regard? North America in general, and as you listed a lot of Canadian bands, was just something we all listen to. So I guess if there's things you listen to, then you're naturally gonna steal bits from that and hopefully no one notices. Um, so yeah, I guess that's just kind of a natural influence. I actually read a statement from Gareth where he said that the primary thing you want to achieve is that you enjoy yourselves yeah. on stage. And he was saying that means, you know, you guys will show up drunk every once in a while on stage. Does it matter that maybe that makes the musicianship suffer a little bit in the end? We have no musicianship <laughs> to begin with, so we have nothing to worry about that. Well, I guess why? Why? Is be serious. <laughs> no, we'd never consider ourselves as musicians anyway. We just end up. We just ended up in this situation, like playing instruments, like full time. So none of us ever kind of set out for this to happen. Like it was just for fun. So none of us had ever get totally wasted that we couldn't stand up or anything. But yeah, as you say, like nothing. If anything ever did suffer, like majorly, then we'd probably be like, actually, that wasn't a good idea. Is that changing though? I mean, now, I mean, you've got a record deal, you've got something out there, you're doing interviews right now. I mean, is there more of a focus now that you are professionals that maybe priority will shift? Um, we're all totally aware of the fact that we are in this ridiculously lucky situation where like you, uh, yourself and other people want to speak to us, people want to pay for us to do things. So. We're always aware of that, so we'll always kind of just make, maintain a balance between like professionalism in terms of being on time to do things, and at the same time just like not taking the interview too seriously as well. So you see what I mean? We just try and maintain some kind of balance between fun and professionalism without it becoming a chore. 
because I think the moment it stops being fun and you think, oh God, I've got to go to work, which isn't really work, because like I said, people are like, we're in this ridiculously lucky situation, I think that's when you should reassess what you're actually doing. And again, if people start to get bored of the band and we feel like we're just like trying to sell records just to do it for the sake of it, then yeah. yeah. Nah, there's no, there's no point because it's just not it's not sincere anymore. All right, well, what's next for the Los Campesinos after the summer tour is all done? Um, we plan on doing a bit more recording. Um, we'll see where that takes us. I think we just want to keep things moving at a steady rate, really. Um, yeah, probably just more touring, more recording, more touring, more recording. All right, awesome. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about or bring up? Um, not really. Not in a negative way, but I just hadn't really thought about it. So, no.